we mentioned, the statewide teacher walkout starts today in Oklahoma. Let's go to 7 News reporter Haley Wilson. She's in Duncan, where that district is closed. Haley? Guys, I'm at Duncan Middle School where the parking lot is almost full in front of the school. And then there's charter buses. I don't know if you can see it, but there are teachers that are getting on these charter buses. Now, I'm joined by Miss Norton. Now, you've been a teacher for, you said, 39 years. Yes. We've been talking about this teacher walkout for nearly a month. What does it mean for it to finally be here? We are all very excited to, to be at this historical event. We have been working for this for over 10 years. Teachers deserve raises. We need quality teachers, qualified teachers in the classroom. We need funding for our students. We're walking for ourselves and for our students and for everyone else's students. We want to take kid, care of our kids. We want them to have the very best and have a long, productive experience at middle school, high school, elementary school. So we're walking for the students. Now, what do you hope to accomplish while you're at the state capitol today? We hope we can convince the legislators that they need to get the funding situated correctly, bring back the funding that they took away with the uh, hotel motel tax and also the ball and dice uh, legislation that they were talking about. I think that's hung up in the Senate or the House. So we want them to be sure and get that funding ready for our students. Like I said, we're marching for the students. We want our students to have the very best. Now, earlier I mentioned that people would be at the theater sending you off, but that location has changed. Tell me a little bit about where it's at now. Yes, we are all meeting here at the middle school because our parent group in Duncan, and may I say it's a wonderful parent supportive group, they want us to be here and all travel together down Elk uh, Street and then on 81 so that the businesses there can uh, honor us with a send off. And so we are accommodating them because they are so supportive of us. We're all leaving here in our caravan and buses going down Elk and then down 81 and then straight to the Capitol. Well, awesome and good luck and y'all be safe. It's going to be a little chilly out there for y'all yes, today. Yes, it will be. <laughs> well, thank, thank you so much for talking Thank you to very me. much. Okay, guys, so like you, like she said, they're going to be going down Elk, then to 81 to leave, and then they'll be at the Capitol all day today as for the rest of the week. That has not been decided yet. Stick with us for the latest updates. Reporting live in Duncan, Haley Wilson, 7 News.